What's up YouTube, Infamous Beats. I thought I'd come up with another tutorial and um, in this one I'm gonna show you actually how to make a beat store button starting from scratch. So the first thing you wanna do is open up uh, your browser and log into your uh, PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, I suggest you get one because with Beats and uh, SoundClick, it's really the easiest solution and the easiest way to do it. So you open up your, your PayPal account and then you log in with the username and password that you selected and everything. And you go, you can see here, I have it in Italian, but it's pretty much the same. So once you logged into your PayPal account, you go to the fourth tab from the left or the third from the right. And then you scroll down and there's buy now buttons. Click on that. And what that does, it'll, it'll take you to a button creation wizard. So this is the buy now button type. You can write the name of the object like uh, beat store or whatever. It's not really important, but it's uh, when you save it after you have all, um, you have all the different uh, button setups and everything in your PayPal account. So it's easier the next time that so you want it, it's already ready pretty much. So this part you don't really need because it's for only one option. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a drop down menu. And what that does, it, it allows you to create multiple options for whatever you wanna sell. Next, I'm gonna select the currency that I want, US dollars. I'm gonna write the name of the menu, which is gonna be leasing options. Then you're gonna write in the first one, regular lease MP3 for $7.99. Remember the comma, not the dot. The second option can be whatever, premium lease WAV for $19.99. Third option could be exclusives for 70 or 100 or whatever. And then you can add more options and uh, set up like offers or whatever. So let's say two regular leases instead of 816, I'm gonna write like 12 or whatever. So now that you created all the options inside here, you can click on done and you see now that the that the preview shows the options that you typed in already add a text label and you see it shows up here and with the text label you're gonna write enter beat name or number and then done and what that does is this text field will allow the customer to write the, to type in the, the beat name and and then select the option and the payment option and then once he clicks on buy now you'll get an email with the with the payment options and the name or the number of the beat and this way you will know what to send them and this is how the transaction is done now you can select use your email address and then you can create the button There we go. Now, as you can see, this is what the button is gonna look like. And this is the code that was generated. You can select it all by clicking on select code and it will highlight all of it. And you can, you can either save it to a TXT file to have it ready or whatever. Or actually, I'm gonna show you already how to put it in uh, in your sound click. All right, now let's open up a new tab and go to sound click. Once you open up your band administration page on your sound click profile, you're gonna make sure that the interview module is on. And to do that, you go to VIP page. Yeah, you gotta have a VIP page. Page layout.
and you gotta make sure that the interview introduction is on. So you see this is, these are not active and the latter ones are active. So you, this interview introduction has to be active. It has to be shown like this. So once you make sure of that, you can go back to edit page and then interview. Once you get to the interview page, you're gonna go into the very first box that you see and paste the code that you previously copied. And this way, you're gonna have your PayPal button code inside here. And then if you don't care about placement, about placing the button in a, in a special position, then you can just go to save changes and uh, the button will show up uh, in, uh, in your VIP page. If you actually do care about the placement of the button and moving it around the page for putting it into a particular layout that you have, um, you're gonna be checking out my next tutorial because that's pretty much what I'm gonna be talking about. All right, it's done for this one. So just click save changes and you're pretty much set with all your beat store and uh, you can start selling your shit. So good luck, keep grinding, out.